understand the power of your emotions. Your spirit already knows truth. Your spirit cannot be defiled. Your spirit cannot be um, swayed. Your soul can, your mind, your will, your emotions, your patterns of behavior, your, uh, your personality, all of that stuff is found in the soul realm. And that's a space that really needs a lot of working out. You can absolutely train yourself to only have your desired feelings. If you want to only feel joy, if you want to only feel acceptance, if you want to only feel loved and abundance, you can train yourself to only have those feelings, to only feel those feelings. What do I mean by that? I mean, not that other feelings are not possible, okay? But that if the the moment you feel disrespected, the and and I mean, these are pure emotions. These are not just like offended emotions. Oh, I'm offended by that. I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling disrespectful. I'm just going to leave. I'm not talking about immaturity. I'm talking about mature, a place of mature being, but there are just certain behaviors. I will absolutely not tolerate. I will not al- allow my body. I will not allow my um, mind to even be in the presence of that type of stuff because I'm not going to tolerate it. It's a great day. Today has already been prepared for you. Today, you are going to experience abundance. Today, you are going to experience joy. Today, you are going to learn something new. Today, everything is is waiting to help you, to progress you, to move you forward towards your goals. Nothing is against you. Nothing is working against you. All things are working for your good. This is a very important part because if a lot of people are just like, well, let's just see how the day goes. Well, let's just see. And then I was stuck in traffic and then I had this and then I... Okay, because you never had authority over that day to begin with, because you were going to just see how it all goes. If you're just going to see how it all goes, I've said this before, that's like saying, I'm going to plant a garden, but you never go out there to do any weeding. You never um, water the, the plants. You never give them sunshine. They're planted in a you know shady area. Well, guess what? You're not going to have a garden. You didn't do the work. You have to be willing to do the work, the cultivation of this, right? But once those things are set up, hey, Um, you're in control. You are in dominion of what and when and how much harvest is produced in your life. Here's a real, here's a really easy way to start doing this. And we do this every morning with our visualization exercise. You have to see what you want, your end goal and embody it go in there like your feelings and your emotions need to be in line with as if that's already yours because it is already yours there is a version of you right now that already has all of that stuff that is already living that type of dream life that you envision right now and so what you need to do is to align your words align your thoughts align your emotions with that with that version of you that future version of me had it and she was happy And so today I'm showing up happy because today I get to build my dream. I get to build God's very best for me today. The depth of your emotions will determine the depth of your conviction. Okay. The depth of your emotions will determine the depth of your conviction. And that will always reflect in your actions. Your actions cannot exceed the depth of your conviction. You need to believe something with all of your being. You need to just embody that entire thing. Because if you don't, you will not express who you are in your life effectively. Listen, if you are saying in your head, oh, I'm a successful person, but you're not talking about success, you're talking about failure. If you are in your head saying, I'm a, I'm, you know, happy after my divorce or happy uh, apart from the narcissist. And yet all day long, we only rehash all of the things. Why couldn't my narcissist change? How come this happened? Why did he do that to me? What is that? We're rehashing the past. That is not convicting you deeply that all things are working out for you, that this is God's best for you. That is not, that is warring against that. So you need to understand the depth of your emotion will determine the level of your conviction. And from there, you will make actions and you will choose words. You will do decisions based off of those emotions. That's why understanding the power of your emotions is absolutely critical to the success of your life.